this is uh, the solar side and uh, with the solar this is uh, under fan family we call it dark wheat or dark wheat fan and a solar normally is called uh, also mosquito fan because when it covers the trough it covers completely so that the mosquitoes can penetrate in and then a solar also is very rich in protein as well as also amino acids which are very essential for the uh, for the animals and they have almost 18 to 22 uh, percent protein contents so that is why it is very healthy especially when you are feeding them to the poultry and with the solar we just introduce uh, these uh, uh, these uh, these uh, shoots or uh, growing azola and azola normally grows asexually either through the spores or by cell what they call cell division and azola can be eaten by the poultry as well as also other animals in the system even the cows so you can just mix them with their uh, other feeds or if you are feeding them the poultry you must introduce them fast to the poultry because at first they will not like the smell but later on they will love it and then they will eat almost everything so a solar is very cheap to grow them this uh, the one we have here is called a solar pinata they are the giant a solar and uh, with this giant a solar uh, you'll find them easy to raise and then also uh, the multiplication also is very high you can harvest them daily at the same time daily you'll have production because they multiply all up to 10 times uh, uh, their normal size in 10 days so it means they regrow and grow very fast and with this uh, solar uh, you can keep a solar as well as also catfish if you have the catfish you can keep a solar and then the catfish uh, beneath them but if you have the tilapia you know they'll eat all your a solar but if you are keeping the fish that means you'll have to come and fetch and then go and feed to your uh, fish the tilapia tilapia love a zola very much so that is why also if you are keeping uh or you are we are doing what you call fish farming then this also the best way to go and then at the same time also it is good place for watering your bees so if you have started what you call apiary that means you can have a solar in your system because uh, uh, the bees will not thrown because they'll have a service whereby they'll step on as they take water. So a solar uh, does not require any uh, natural or any excess means. Here we are doing organic and that is why uh, you can see a sack here. With this sack I'm using the manure, the organic manure, the farmyard manure from the animals. Uh, mine I just put them in sack for easy harvesting so that it doesn't add uh, identify the asola and I want my asola to come as clean as they are. So that is why I put them in uh, and close them in the sack and also you as you can do it a different way. For this one I'm using just uh, this one I build with the, the dam liner those one are the recycled materials which instead of throwing them away you uh, put some water start your solar and instead of buying your uh, using excess money to buy the poultry feed and the like what did you grow a solar use even a tire the broken karai and whatever you have in the system so this is also another way to reduce your expense especially on poultry feed and also other animals for animals like the cattle and the like they help in increasing the milk production if it is a poultry the egg production also will shoot or it will go high from the normal one so that is why i advise every farmer to start a zola it is very cheap and easy to start so long as you have the farmyard manure the water nothing else you do the job you start for growing a solar and it is easy to maintain this just water yeah. just water and manure when you have uh, when you see the production declining this uh, it will tell you that it is high time that you add more manure or you bring in new manure because they would have exhausted uh, the one it had and then also these asola pinata they are also under fabaci family they are the legume the legume that means they fix in nitrogen so if you don't use them for feeding your animals you can use them as the source of nitrogen for your crops you put them around the roots and then you see your crops are uh, shooting and growing very healthy so that is why there's so many uses of this uh, asola 
how long does it take to harvest? You will harvest them daily. So you introduce for uh, the day, just give it a week and then you start harvesting. Okay. A week is for them to establish and whenever harvesting them, you need to harvest them in one row. Like this one, if I need to harvest, I'll just harvest them in this one side as they continue growing so that I don't disturb their roots. So that is also the main thing that you must consider, especially uh, if you have the asola. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much for the piece of knowledge.